at 5. Come December 6th, Orleans Parish Builders will get the chance to decide a proposition that would redirect existing tax dollars to help pay for preservation of schools. WDSU anchor Latanya Norton is on your side with how Act 543 would work and the arguments both for and against it. Broken water heaters, heating boilers, and air conditioners alike could force students to skip class. The group Stand for Children says one time FEMA recovery money helped New Orleans rebuild and improve public schools, but no money is dedicated to preserving newly built or renovated buildings. If we do not have the funds for that, then the buildings will deteriorate and get back to the deplorable conditions that we had prior to 1994. Consultant Kenneth Dakota says Act 543 on the December 6th ballot creates a steady stream of funds to pay for capital maintenance. With the Orleans Parish School Board poised to pay off two sets of bonds over the next five years, Act 543 authorizes the maintenance of the taxes so as the debt goes away. Funds are allocated to over 80 schools owned by the OPSB, generating 13 to 15 million dollars each year for a 10 year period or 130 to 150 million dollars. All of that money would pay for on a cash basis repairs. None of it would be going towards interest, so the money would be completely reinvested in the buildings. The group Justice and Beyond feels the plan doesn't pass the smell test. The group's Facebook page gives the idea of an emergency fund an A for effort, reading in part, the idea of money set aside for the upkeep of our schools is great, but whose hands this law will put this money in is detrimental. It goes on to say the RSD continues to misappropriate our funds and we should not put any more of our tax dollars in their hands. But we don't believe that this is the way to send a message. I mean, that's not really sending a message to own governance. That is, is hurting the children. Dakota says Act 543 has a system of accountability, auditing, and reporting to the public. But Justice and Beyond calls it poorly drafted legislation while demanding legislators draft a more equitable bill. A school of thought that could send those on both sides back to the drawing board. On your side, LaTanya Norton, WDSU News. Act 543 is a decade-long millage. If passed, voters will get a chance to renew it in 10 years. The Recovery School District issued this statement this afternoon. Quote, the Recovery School District fully supports funding and successfully implementing a process that preserves the school facilities in Orleans Parish for years to come.